Hi there, my name is Victor and I am Master Technician. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the transmission fluid on 2013 to 2015 RX350 F Spark models. This procedure only applies to the F Spark models which have the 8 speed transmission. It does not apply to the non F Sport models with a 6 speed transmission. That procedure is slightly different. Make sure to do this service with the vehicle sitting as level as possible. Don't do it on a severely slanted driveway or with the front of the vehicle sitting on uh, tire ramps because you will not be able to set the fluid level correctly. Before replacing the transmission fluid, make sure that your vehicle has sat for a few hours. Uh, you want the fluid temperature to be below 35 degrees Celsius or 95 degrees Fahrenheit uh, before you proceed. The first step uh, is to remove the driver's front wheel. Next, remove the two 10 millimeter head bolts holding the splash shield. Next, remove the little push pin that's uh, left there holding the splash shield in. It's right inside there. So press on the middle of it with a screwdriver or a pick. Okay, and now we can uh, stick a screwdriver or even wiggle this cover and then the clip will come off. All right, so the cover comes out. Of course, the clip dropped inside here, so I had to fish it out. Uh, it's best if you don't drop it, then you can save yourself a few seconds. The transmission fill plug is located right there. It's a 24 millimeter head socket, so you can go ahead and remove it now. Transmission drain plug and the overflow plug, uh, they're built into one, they're located right there. So first you need to remove the little uh, overflow plug uh, bolt using a uh, T40 Torx bit. And once you remove it, some fluid will start draining out. So uh, let the flow slow down a bit so you don't make a mess all over the place because next thing you gotta do is remove uh, this big plug using a 17 millimeter Allen key bit. Now you can go ahead and remove the main drain plug using a 17 millimeter Allen key bit. little bit messy that's gonna allow us to drain all of the fluid out while the fluids draining uh, remove the o-ring grab the new one and uh, lubricate it with a little bit of the transmission fluid and install it on this drain plug overflow tube assembly. And uh, once the fluid flow slows down to a drip or a tiny trickle, you can go and reinstall this plug back in. And tighten it to 35 foot pounds. And then reinstall this little drain plug. Don't replace the O-ring on it yet because we're gonna have to um, unscrew it to set the level properly. So just uh, reinstall it and uh, snug it up just a little bit to prevent the fluid from leaking out. To do this service, you will need four liters or four quarts of uh, genuine Toyota Lexus uh, automatic transmission fluid type WS. And uh, you can get a filling apparatus similar to this on Amazon. Using a pump, I uh, fill the transmission with uh, 
about three and a half liters or four quarts of fluid. And remove the filler hose and install the fill plug. Make sure to use a new gasket on it and tighten it to 36 foot pounds. Reinstall the splash shield. Now you gotta reinstall this little clip. It will be a bit tricky. Uh, you gotta spread these little legs apart and uh, Push it out so that it looks like this, otherwise it won't work. And now you gotta sneak it in there. You can pull back this liner a bit to get your hand in behind. Okay, and uh, push on the little push pin head until it's flush. Reinstall the wheel. Torque the wheel lug nuts to 76 foot-pounds. So now we need to um, do the fluid level adjustment and uh, there are two ways of doing it. If you have a scan tool, that can read the automatic transmission oil temperature. That's great, it makes life very easy. For the adjustment, the temperature has to be between 35 and 45 degrees Celsius, or 95 and 113 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, ours is 29.3 Celsius, which is perfect. You wanna try to start uh, with a fluid below 35 Celsius. That way, while the engine's running, it's not gonna warm up too much. Uh, the problem with it being too hot, is the fluid expands as it heats. So uh, since we're using an overflow method, if it's too hot, too much of the fluid will overflow. And if it's too cold, not enough fluid will overflow and then our transmission will be overfilled. So if you don't have a scan tool, I'm gonna show you how to do it uh, with just a piece of wire or paper clip. If you're doing the service without a scan tool, uh, you will need to do it uh, manually. So. This is the DLC3 connector right here, and you will need to use a piece of wire or a metal paper clip to connect pins 13 and four. Now pay attention because the connector is wider on one end than on the other. And uh, in some vehicles it's installed right side up and the other is installed upside down. So you just wanna make sure you identify the pins correctly uh, before you proceed. I will be using a little piece of jumper wire like this with the insulation stripped from both ends. The DLC3 connector is located uh, underneath the steering wheel at the bottom right there. So there it is. Uh, I have the pins 4 and 13 bridged together and the ignition is off right now. So we uh, make sure the car is off, then stick your paper clip or a piece of wire into pins 4 and 13 and then we'll proceed with the fluid temperature detection mode. We're going to start the engine. And you'll see there's a bunch of warning lights on the dash. That's totally normal. And now to put the car into uh, fluid temperature detection mode, we're gonna go between drive and neutral at one second intervals like this for at least six seconds. So I'll show you what happens on the dash while we're doing that. All right, so I'm gonna show you what's happening on the dash here while we're moving the 
shift selector between neutral and drive at one second increments. So we're looking at the gear indicator and uh, we want it to go to D and stay on D for two seconds. You see how it does that? And now the light went out. So we can put it into park and let the car idle. So right now the indicator is off and that tells us that the fluid uh, temperature is too cold, which we knew because we checked it with a scan tool prior, uh, prior to this and it was at 29 Celsius. If the light is off, that's good. We're going to idle the car and wait for the shift indicator light to come on. If the shift indicator light is flashing, that means that the fluid temperature is way too hot. You need to shut the car off, let it sit for half an hour, an hour and try this again. In our case, the light is off. So that means that the fluid temperature is below minimum required. Now we're going to idle it and wait for the shift indicator light to come on. So that's probably going to take a few minutes. We'll just let it sit here and idle. While it's idling, uh, reach down and remove the little jumper wire that we installed in the DLC3 connector. Oh, look at that. The light came on. So right now the light is on. That means our fluid temperature is the proper range. So now we can go ahead and uh, do the overflow fluid level adjustment procedure. So now we're going to set the fluid level properly. Uh, with the vehicle idling in park, it has to be running in park. We're gonna open the little drain plug for the overflow tube. And uh, let the excess fluid drain out. So as you can see, it's coming out in a steady stream because we overfilled it slightly to begin with. And that's what we wanted to do. If, uh, if you open this plug and nothing comes out, that means you didn't fill the transmission enough. So you gotta put more oil in there. But uh, three and a half liters or four quarts is enough to uh, overfill it. So uh, keep an eye on that stream. And once it slows down to like a really small trickle, uh, that means the fluid's at the proper level. In the meanwhile, replace this little O-ring gasket uh, with a new one. Okay, so you can see that um, the fluid flow went from a steady stream to kind of a trickle, so that means the fluid level is set correctly. Reinstall the little drain plug uh, using a new O-ring on it. And tighten it to five foot pounds. Okay. Clean off any remnants of the transmission fluid. And uh, we can lower the vehicle down. We're done. All right, you can go ahead, shut the vehicle off. And uh, that is it. Transmission fluid replacement is completed. Thanks for watching. Please support my channel by liking, subscribing, and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate it. See you next time. Cheers.